Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs. Um, as I've run out of furniture, I'm working on some smaller items. Um, so some decor pieces. Um, today I am going to be doing a beach sign slash key hook out of an old drawer front. Uh, I would have had to cut the drawer apart except it was so old and beaten up that I literally was just able to knock it apart with a mallet. So I, up until the point where I start, I've sanded it and cleaned it and done all of that. So I've left out all the boring stuff. Um, so let's get into it. So like I said, this is just an old drawer front. Um, I knocked it apart with a rubber mallet, but you could also just cut it off an old drawer. Um, I have already sanded this all smooth and taken off the old finish, uh, given it a quick clean. And the first stain I'll be going on with will be Cartamilli washed away in Cuttlefish. Always, always give it a good shake. I've made this mistake in the past and I'm just using a metal bowl to put it into. You can also add a bit of water or top coat to this to thin it out a bit if it's too thick for you, but this will dry a lot more opaque than it appears on here. You can also apply it and then sand it back. This gives a really nice texture to get the thick stain gets right into the grains of the wood and then when you sand it back it adds just heaps more detail to it. So I'm just slapping it on at first and then once I've got it got the entire surface covered um, whilst it's still wet I'll do longer strokes to even it out. So I've dried this with a heat gun and I started sanding it by hand and then was like, duh, I have a power tool that'll do this heaps faster. So I went and got my multi-tool and I hit it with that instead to distress it and to knock down that stain a bit. Um, I've got a video, a separate video showing the unboxing of this tool if anyone's interested. So now that that's all sanded down again, um, I'm going in with a mix of a little bit of water with Cartamilli washed away in Coffs Jetty. Kind of works like a white wash as well, but it's more of a grey, so I guess you'd say it's a grey wash. I've pretty much always put too much in the bowl for these stains, but you can just, I pour it straight back into the bottle when I'm done. So I've hit this with the heat gun to dry it off and it's thin enough that it's still showing up that grain in the wood. And it's kind of given it that driftwood look. And now I'm just sanding around, the, hand sanding around the edges again, just to bring the original wood back through. So 
Now I'm using Cartamelli washed away in coal. Only going to be using a tiny little bit of this um, because I'm just going to use it to go on the ends just to give it a bit more of a weathered look because I don't want it to be pristine. Could use any old brush. I'm using the cheapo Unipro brush from Bunnings. Every other brush I've used so far for this project has been a sleek brush from Sleek Brushes. So I'm almost just like dry brushing it on. I've got a very small amount on my brush and just kind of giving it that brushy look on the ends. You can go heavier if you want. You could do it over the whole piece if you want. So this is my first stencil I'll be using from the Gemini Creative Collection. It is the Beach House stencil. I wasn't sure which way around it would be showing on the camera so I flipped it around and showed it both ways. So I'm using a measuring tape to measure the length, the full length of the draw front. And I'll work out the middle of that. That's my thinking pose. And I'm using the meter ruler to mark the middle of the draw front. I'm using a scalpel so that I'm not actually marking it with a pencil. The scalpel marker is a lot less noticeable. Uh, to line up the stencil, I'm literally just using the edge of the stencil itself. In hindsight, and probably in the future when I use this one, I might cut it in half so that I can do both sides of the stencil at the same time instead of going back and forth, as you'll see. Just taping it down. Now I'll be going over the stencil with Katsumili satin top coat. The purpose of doing this is so that if there's going to be any bleed through onto the wood, it will be the clear coat, not the paint. So when you're brushing this on, don't be afraid to get it underneath the stencil. I've done this in the past as well on painted surfaces, but I use the paint that's underneath the stencil. So if I've got a black surface that I'm paint, putting uh, stripes on, for example, if my surface is black, I'll then put the, put the tape down or the stencil and then paint black over it and then I'll put on the colour that I want the stencil or the stripes to be. Now I'm going to go in with Cartamelli Daisy's Milk. So just like all the other times, I'm putting a little bit of paint on my brush and then I'm kind of brushing it off on the inside of the pot. You can also dab it on like a piece of paper towel or a sheet of paper or your workbench, whatever.
So now that that side's done, I'm then taking the other part of the stencil and lining it, lining it up on that same scalpel line again. I'm just eyeballing the height. You could measure it if you want. I'm not being too pedantic with this one. At this point I have washed it and it was really really easy to wash. I might even do a separate video showing how I cleaned it. Now I'm going to line up the stencil again so that it's kind of off to the side and down a bit so that the words will end up having a shadow. In this case, the white is going to be the shadow. I've put down my satin top coat again, and now I'm going in with Katsumili, can't find the name, sailboat. It's kind of a really nice um, greyish blue, a very Hamptons colour. <clears throat>
So now that that's all dry, I sanded it lightly across the lettering to try and smooth it out a bit and also distress it a bit so it wasn't quite so perfect because it did, it literally came out perfect. That's how good these stencils are. Now I'm going to go over it with Carts and Millie Hemp Salve. You could also use clear coat. Now that that's done, I've got my hooks. Um, I was hoping to use these for cups, but they're not really big enough for that, so I'll have to get bigger ones at some point. But these ones are perfect for key hooks. Uh, and I found these on eBay. I think I got a pack of 20 for $10 or something like that. Also, the drawing on my arm. We sat down for like an hour or so to have a drink for Mother's Day because my wonderful husband got some got some drinks delivered and our son decided he had to draw on all of us. So yeah. Um, so I just screwed these on. You could put, I only put five on but you could put on as many as you want. Um, and at some point my phone cut out because it ran out of battery but yeah these are the little hooks that I got well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and comment and share and subscribe if you want to see more pieces like this I'll have more smaller items coming up, very similar to this one. These are small quick jobs to do, projects to do, especially if you are someone who takes your furniture and stuff to markets. And obviously it is an old drawer front, so it's a good way to reuse old items that might otherwise end up in the tip. So, thanks for watching guys.